man hey 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 that turned out pretty good I think yeah I think so too I like it it's neat all right so what do we have going on here we've got a corgi puppy we've got a tiger a gigantic beast of a predator and uh and you got some dude over here holding on to his tail? Hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. That's it. I hope it's uh, entertaining enough. Yeah, me too. I hope it is. So far, I like it. You know, what, what's going on with this dude's hairdo? What happened there? <laughs> I don't know. I was just painting and uh, I think I had those old Japanese ideas in my head, you know, as we discussed with the possibility of putting those dark trees in the background. And as I was painting this like <laughs> funny little hairdo just popped up and I decided to leave it. So. Well, it's there. We can leave it for now. The great thing about painting is we can always change it. So what's the next step, my friend? Ooh, what are you planning on doing? I think we go back to what you wanted to do. I think we should jump in and paint that tiger. Um, our next move depends on its colors. Next, what do you mean? What do you mean next move depends on its colors? Well, the colors in the tiger in relationship to your very first movement of the background is uh, is going to determine if we have to put in some black trees to, to have separation. But uh, if we paint it and it looks good, I mean, maybe we'll just leave it. So that's our next move. Let's get in there and paint the tiger. All right. Painting the tiger, just like what I wanted to do. That jacked up bro. Rawr. Growl. <laughs> Meow. Meow. So to say, I want this thing to say that. This guy is just sitting there like all calm and stuff. And he's like, meow. All right, I'm an idiot. Let's paint. Okay, ready? Whoosh. 